My dad gave me a calculator. This here is a square. The area for the square will be A times A because a square has the same size. Hello, Boxy. Yeah. Now we have a purple square on the side there, which is a cutout from the bigger square. And its area will be B times B. So let's put the area for the bigger square on the side. The area for the smaller purple square will be on this side. We can rewrite the expressions for the areas. So the area for the bigger square, bigger dark square, will be A squared. But the cutout will be B squared. The cutout is a subtraction. So we can label this as A squared minus B squared. Let's rearrange to get this cutout portion. So we'll zoom this out a bit. And then rearrange them to indicate the subtraction. So this is the square, the bigger square. And we'll put a subtraction sign show that they are subtracting so this new area is actually a squared minus the b squared which is the cutout portion hey boxy yes so we subtract we use the expressions of the squares so it's not a squared minus b squared which represents the same as a times b minus b times b Let's change this new shape into a regular shape. We're going to try to change it into a rectangle instead of a square. Notice that the remaining portion of that side is A with a cutout of B. That's why you have minus B. The other side is B. The length of that small cutout is B. The breadth of that small cutout is still B because it's a square. So we take this A minus B and then rearrange it to fit with the rest of the shape so that we get a regular shape instead of that weird looking shape so this is a rectangle now notice that the side of this a minus b side is b 